Hey y'all, I'm Anna the Artiste. And I'm Vic. And it's a Markiplier makeup tutorial about this look right here. This makeup look is from In Space with Markiplier. The character's name is Lady and they're a member of the Universal Stability Agency. A key feature of their look are these facial markings, which we created using temporary tattoo transfers, which work just like a generic temporary tattoo and are gonna go on either side of the face. So we're just gonna take a baby wipe. We're gonna fold it a couple of times. So it's approximately the size of the tattoo. These are essentially cheek contours. So they're gonna go to the point where the flatter part right here is coming under the cheekbone. And this top part, this little tab, is gonna be right in front of where your sort of sideburn starts. I'm gonna make sure my little hairs are tucked back here. And I'm just going to line up that sort of 45 degree angle there with my sideburn, press that into place, and literally just grade school tattoo, hold this on there. So yeah, so I've given it some nice even pressure. I'm making sure that when I peel this off, I'm leaving the paper in place so I don't pull it off so that the paper doesn't get pulled off with it. I'm gonna kinda roll it back. Boom. And there we've got our first little cheek application. The main thing is that you want to make sure that they are giving shape and structure to the face by uh, kind of defining the cheekbone. All right. And let's roll off. Beautiful. On this side, something that we'll talk about is that I did get this onto an area where there was a little bit of hair. And so there's a tiny, tiny bit of lifting in uh, the back of it. And so what I can do about that first and foremost is I can just take the water on my uh, baby wipe and just use it to kind of encourage those bits to kind of lay down. And then even just now, as I wiped, some of that glue sort of dissolved and just kind of peeled off a little bit in the sheet. And that just completely laid down that edge. All right, so we've got our tattoos on. Y'all might have noticed that half of our eyebrows are gone, which they weren't in the intro. We did do a brow blocking, which is a whole separate video. You can absolutely find that down in the description and you can learn how to do this partial brow block. Uh, the next step in this look is to complete the brow. On the actual show, we did a liquid uh, face paint, but you could use like a black eyeshadow or a pencil or anything like that in order to create this brow shape. We're gonna be using the Chaotic Cosmetics Hydro Palette and we're just gonna be using the plain black. So we're gonna take a little bit of water. We're gonna spray it into the lid of the palette. And I'm gonna take my brush, just get my brush bristles wet and then go in and kind of activate the liner. So with Lady's Brow Shape, it is a very sort of truncated, um, sort of alien-ish, for lack of a better term, brow. So I'm gonna be going with my black here, and I'm continuing on from the bottom of the exposed part of my brow to kind of create a straight line upward and then I'm doing a tiny, tiny downturn tail. So that's the bottom edge of the brow. So same thing, kind of, I'm gonna continue on from the top part of my brow, straight, to meet up with that arch. And now I'm just going in and elevating the rest of my brow to the same amount of color. You guys, this is like, a $10 brow lift. Get on it. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to do our eye and cheek makeup, adding our red contours uh, to the lady makeup. 
So I'm using the Main Squeeze palette from ColourPop Cosmetics. It is going to be an all red pressed shadow palette and I'm using the color Like It's Hot. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a really great and generous amount of our pigmented eyeshadow on a fluffy eyeshadow blending brush. And so I'm loading up that brush. I've got a lot of that red eyeshadow on there. So we're gonna take this, make sure that it's sort of in a similar line with the eye makeup. And while I'm holding it, I'm just gonna take my brush and scoot it along the edge of that spatula. I'm drawing away and I've got a nice clean line. And then I'm taking what's left over on my brush and I'm basically filling in my whole temple up into my, like wrapping up into my hairline. All right. And then just going upward. How is that? Yeah. Oh, so good. I love oh. her. She's coming to life. All right. We're going to take that same color that mm -hmm. like it's hot. What we're now doing is connecting and bridging the gap between the end of our uh, facial marking and our sideburn area. Mm -hmm. So we're just going in and creating a little bit of a continuation and letting all of this kind of live together. Even within the ears, we were taking it and giving some redness inside of the ear. And we're really just lining it up with like the bottom edge of that tattoo. And the nice thing about those tattoos and facial markings is the way that we designed them, they've got a very kind of soft blurred edge already. So adding this in just kind of ties the room together. One of the last things we're gonna do here with our colored powder is we're gonna take a bit of it. I'm gonna take this and pinch it down. I'm using the very thin straight edge to get a nice kind of clean mark down the side of the nose. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna let it go and use the blending edge and the blending motions to work this up but we're just bringing that color into the middle of the face with a harsh edge on the nose. How's this? Ah, yeah, yeah, lovely, beautiful, cool. gorgeous. Um, so now our last little step here is our lips. So first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take another one of these Sephora cream matte lip stains. This one is in just like a really great matte red and we're going to be drawing on a little circle onto our lip. So I'm gonna take my brush and just connect my little cupid's bow. Mm -hmm. Kind of round it out. I'm gonna also tilt my chin downward to make sure that I'm getting it symmetrical. And so from there, I'm just gonna use the edge on your brush to create a nice kind of clean line. And I'm pulling inward to create my color. I'm gonna do the same thing out here. go and uh there we go all right we got our perfect little lips and so while Vic is applying her lips I'm gonna take a little flatter concealer brush with a little bit of our RCMA liquid concealer and I'm just gonna start blocking out the edges of my lips I'm gonna go mm. on with the straight edge and create a nice little clean line that I'm gonna brush outward. Awesome, so get a little, tiny little, mm -hmm. little doot. This is the look, this is the lady look. The ears obviously are a whole different subject. We definitely have to cover the prosthetic ears in a different video. But this is the main element of Lady. This is how you use the tattoos and blend them in and make them look like they're all part of the skin. Limited edition sets of ladies' tattoos are available at Cloak Brand, so make sure that you go check those out and order them if you like this tutorial. And leave us a comment if you tried this out and how you like this look. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.